Hello engineers, welcome back. In this video, let's see what is operational transformation and how it works. I hope you're ready. Let's get started. So when we discuss multi-leader application system, we discuss some write conflicts and uh, different strategies that are available to resolve write conflicts and br eventually bring every leader into the same state and have a convergence between them, right? So one of those techniques or algorithms is operational transformation. So this is commonly used in collaborative apps like Google Docs, Google Sheets, maybe even Figma and VS Code and so on, right? So let's see how it works. So let's understand operational transformation using this example. So the timeline goes from left to right. And in this example, we have user one and user two, and there is a server in between, right? So let's say user one and user two are trying to edit one document and they are having the same start state. So they have H-E-L-O, H-E-L-O as a start state. So in operational transformation, we treat every position of the document using with some index, right? For example, the first position in the document is index 0 the second position in the document is index 1 and so on right so every position in the document itself is having an index so let's say user 1 and user 2 are having the same start position with HELO at 0 1 2 3 index right so both of them are in a consistent state as of now now let's see what user 1 is doing so user 1 is adding an L at index 3 to complete the word hello right and at the same time user 2 is adding an exclamation mark at index 4, right? So these are happening concurrently. Both users are working on the same document concurrently and both the updates are being passed to the server. Now it is up to the server to decide how to use these updates and bring both the users into a consistent state. Let's see how that goes. So when the server receives this one, insert L at index 3, it completes it by inserting L at index 3 and pushing 0 and exclamation to the right so we get hello exclamation mark so both the users inserts are available here so this is fine but let's look at the other case insert exclamation at index 4 right so if we pass this instruction directly insert exclamation at index 4 what the server could do is directly insert exclamation at index 4 and push the O to the right so that we get H-E-L-L -L exclamation O. So this is something that we don't desire, right? So we want the update to be something like this, hello exclamation, right? So this update is not valid. So what the server does is first insert L at index 3. So since this is not having any conflict, so we will achieve this state. After that, the server will insert exclamation at index 5 and eventually we will get hello exclamation which is a consistent state. So the server has transformed the operation to bring both the users into a consistent state. So this algorithm is called operational transformation because we are changing or transforming the operation in some way or the other to eventually bring all the leaders into the same state. So here user 1 and user 2 are the two leaders. Let's see what happens when one user is uh, inserting something and the other user is deleting something. So now both the users are in this state, right? Hello exclamation, hello exclamation. And now user one is inserting an exclamation at the beginning at zero and everybody else is shifted to the right, right? So this is an insert operation. At the same time, user two is deleting the exclamation that was available at the end. So we had one exclamation at the end. Now user two has deleted this one. So both the instructions are now being sent to the server. Again, these are concurrent operations, right? So when both the instructions are sent to the user, this is what happens. So first insert exclamation at index zero is achieved because there is no problem here. In, we will insert something at the front of this and push everything, everything to the right. So we get exclamation hello. So no problem. The problem arrives when we try to delete it. So what is the instruction? Delete exclamation at index five, right? So when we try to delete exclamation at index five, currently at index five, we have zero. And if we try to delete zero, we achieve an inconsistent state, which is like this. L exclamation, right? So this is a conflict. This is an inconsistent state. And in order to resolve this, again, the algorithm applies a transformation and says delete exclamation at index six instead. And we will eventually achieve this state, consistent state between the two users, right? 
So this is a high level view about operational transformation. Obviously there are many more edge cases. I will leave some documentation in the description below for you to check out. So definitely look through that. So let's talk about the drawbacks of this. So if you think about it, the multi leaders, the users, they are always connected to a server. So even though user one and user two are in the same room, they cannot make use of that uh, closeness by using some Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. They will all have to connect to the server. So this type of communication is allowed. Every user's updates are going through some intermediate server and the server is responsible for doing the conflict resolution. Right. So the algorithm is running here. And because of this, this server can have some bottlenecks because every user is writing to the same server and uh, this server can ha have throughput issues and uh, balance load issues. And in this scenario, this type of communication is not allowed. User to user is not allowed. Only server to user communication is allowed, right? So this is one of the drawbacks of operational transformation, right? So this is a centralized system because there is a central server involved and every update is going through it. The opposite of that is decentralized system, which is CRDT, which we will look at in the next video. So that's all for this video, guys. I hope you got some fair understanding about operational transformation. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment below. In the next video, we will look at CRDT. So definitely stay subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on the video. Do leave a like if you found this helpful. I will quickly see you in the next video. Thank you. Cheers.